Hello guys, a couple days ago uh, America and uh, President Joseph Biden personally organized so-called Summit for Democracy. It was a virtual uh, meeting uh, and uh, more than 100 countries were invited to <clears throat> this summit. What can I say about it? First of all, I want to say that uh, democracy as a regime is very useful for United States of America. Uh, because using this uh, voting mechanism and voting process, America can bring loyal to its governments all around the world. If uh, America deal with uh, some kind of dictatorship or authoritarian regime, for America it's uh, very uh, hard sometimes to overthrow this government. Uh, we know that America very good uh, used this mechanism to overthrow power in Ukraine in 2014. But after that, America had only failure. It was failure in Syria, failure in uh, Venezuela, failure in uh, Belarus. So now Americans think about uh, something new in establishing, in uh, setting loyal governments to America in any country. So uh, they need coalition. They need coalition to do something, to organize so-called uh, revolution, democratic revolution, uh, not just like one America by itself, but they have allies and it's easier for uh, America after that legalize any of these events like so-called democratic revolution. They try in Hong Kong, but it was failure too. Uh, so now, if we see, if, if we look at the uh, number of countries invited to this meeting, uh, we can see that Poland was invited, but Hungary wasn't. Why? This nothing, nothing about democracy. It's about half loyal government of any country to the America. Poland is totally loyal to USA, but Hungary, you know, try to do something different. It's why the Poland was invited, but Hungary not. So we see new division in the world. I cannot say that America created this division, but America used this division to achieve their goals. First of all, in economy, but politic and geopolitic is a tool to achieving these goals for American business, for American rich guys. Okay, see you later.